Hello, I'm going to talk about Sorensen Squeeze. In my opinion, Sorensen Squeeze is one of the best programs for video encoding. Uh, I use this for uh, many professional encoding jobs that I use uh, for DVD, sometimes mostly for web and for broadcast. So it's a pretty expensive program. If you go to SorensenMedia.com, and if you see as of this taping, the pro version is almost $900. The premium is $19.95, and the standard is most people would need the standard is uh, what you have still a little pricey but uh, if you're really serious about encoding and wanting your videos to look really really good uh, I would do the free trial first of course and then I would save up your money if you can and get a Sorensen squeeze I'm not you know paid by Sorensen to say this I just use it and I've been uh, really like it one of the powerful things about Sorensen squeeze and of course they have education government pricing and they have some other stuff they have the manual there that you can buy and some other presets and uh, support what I like about it one of most uh, the best things I like is this Sorensen preset exchange so you can find a preset for almost anything uh, Kindle Fire uh, uh, Roku Netflix uh, you can browse all uh, by and these are actually tested um, presets that users have uploaded Avid DNX HD I mean these are just all encoding uh, presets that pros have used so uh, you can download this for instance I use this Vimeo 720p and uh, this one is, is pretty good I think I think I have this one and for the highest quality uh, Vimeo upload so to download this I'll just hit download once I log in then automatically will go into your preset exchange so let's open up Sorensen a uh, squeeze right now all right, so when you open up Sorensen, you see uh, a window, uh, sort of like Apple Compressor. So when you see this window, you have the import file you can capture. You have some watch folders that you can use as well. Uh, what I really like about Sorensen is that you can have publishing options as well. If you have the other, uh, the professional account, you can go ahead and publish it right to YouTube from here to the Sorensen 360 and that's another thing I forgot uh, to mention about Sorensen Squeeze they have a, a solution called Sorensen 360 let me just uh, google that Sorensen I can't even spell 360 let's see if it gets it there it is right there Sorensen is online video management and basically when you have the pricing plans you can have your customers things on uh, a site you don't even have to put on Vimeo and password protected and video and it automatically sends them an email or a text once your um, once your encode is done so someone can approve it so I've used it with the players and uh, they have pricing plans as well uh, for that alrighty so and this is uh, the prices for that uh, no length or, 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 or bit rate or anything like that so just check that out if you're interested in that if not you can use Vimeo I use Vimeo most of the time and just password protect my videos so anyway we have the four favorites my favorites and this is the Vimeo 720 that I like and if I wanted to go in here and adjust that I can always just double click on here my format constraints my stream type and then my total data rate you can describe it your uh, uh, and everything like that 1280 by 720 that's why it's called 720 keyframes and you can see all of the other things that you need to that you can do with the video and I'm not going to go into all of these and presets you can notify um, if I want a notification you have to have a 360 account if I want to notif notifications for that so anyway all I'm going to do is take a video that I have is about three gigs and I'm going to drag it up. I can import the file or I can just drag a video up to here. So it looks like Apple Compressor. Once I see the video, I see young lady have the A and the B that you can do. And then I'm going to apply my Vimeo because it's going to Vimeo. Hit apply my Vimeo settings. And of course, I can create markers. I can create in and outs if I want to in and out. And I know there's four minutes and 27 seconds here. And then I have my AB markers that I can do here. <clears throat> and then, so my 16.9, I see all my other custom ratios that I have auto cropping. And if I want an actual size there, I can see that. So I'm just going to hit full so I can see the whole thing and hit play. The 450 profits of Bale Tate. Okay. So now, as you see that, I can go right here. And once I'm ready, it says source markers, global filter. I can uh, click that disclosure triangle. And then if I want to change the destination, if I look at the destination, it's going to be an MP4. 
and then I can change the destination and then this is is on my desktop if I want to change the name click there and then I can see all these other things and I just hit squeeze it so once I hit squeeze it it's going to tell me how much time is remaining and then we'll be back to see the final file and see from three gigs uh, how long that this file takes a four minute file to go press on, on my machine we'll be right back okay so now it has finished encoding now what we're going to do is we can look at it right here we can look at it and view it or we can just um, we can open it here it opens up an MPEG stream clip here and there it is so there is my um, mp4 and it goes down from three gigs uh, let's see it goes down from three gigs up to let's see what it goes up to now once we look and it goes to three gigs to 278 uh, megabytes so I'm going to upload that file to Vimeo right now and it should be fine so if you have any other questions you can always email us at ask at webvideochefs.com or follow us on Twitter at webvideochefs or join our Facebook community and we will see you soon